Hey everyone, welcome back to another interesting video. So friends, in this video, we'll be solving few interview questions. One will be from JavaScript and another one will be from React. So let's get started. So the first question is, we need to implement a function split into groups. Uh, we are given parameters like array and size equals to one that splits an array into sub arrays of given size. And the last group may be smaller if there are not enough elements. The original array must remain unchanged. So let's have a look at some inputs like one, two, three, four, and the size is two. So we'll be getting two sub arrays. Similarly, over here, we have five elements and size is two. So we got two sub arrays of equal length and one of single length, right? Because like uh, we have got this subset, then this subset and this as single. So that's what written over here as well. The last group may be smaller if there are not enough elements. So uh, this is not uh, like medium or hard level question. This is a like simple, you can say easy to medium. And the time limit that will be given to solve this will be around 10 minutes. So let's give it a try. So we'll be getting array and size and let's skip default value as one. Now, if array dot is array and array, a simple check to check basically if this is not an array or if the size is less than one, that is zero, then we simply going to return empty array. Cool. Now let's create some uh, like for storing the result, like one result and another one will be, let's say group. Okay. And now what we can do is we can simply run a loop, a simple for loop. I will be running I zero, I less than array dot length i plus plus cool now the group array that i've created i will simply start pushing all the elements inside this like array at i and i will have a simple check if the group's size is equal equals to size uh, basically the array that we want to create so what we can do finally push this into the result groups something like this and one more thing we also need to make groups empty so that we can push another set of sub arrays like create another sub array finally we can simply return results cool so this is a simple uh, like brute force approach that may come to your mind so let's try doing console.log cool so Let's see. Uh, I don't know why we are getting so much. Cool. So let's have a look at what we have got. We got one, two. Uh -huh. Okay. For this one, let's see what we got. One, two then empty array, then three, four, five. So we are not getting the correct result. Let's see why. So I got the er error. Uh, the error is that we need to make it empty array, not push empty array, like groups equals. Let's see now. Oh, my bad. It's a read only because we, we have given it const. We have to make it a let. So I think from here we can start checking. So for first we got one, two, three, four, like, yeah, two sub arrays. Then for this one, we got a, b, uh, c, d for the third one. And I think this is the mid one. Uh, let's try running this once more. It is doing console log two times. Yeah, this one is right. So uh, this one is one, two, three, four. This one is one, two, three, four. I, I got it. Actually, friends, what is happening is that uh, this one is working perfect, but this one is not uh, like working uh, correctly because we need to handle the case where we have like one element or uh, like one element remaining at the end, right? Where we have not sufficient members to make the group. 
so for that we can simply check if equal equals to array dot length cool let's see so we have got 1 comma 2 3 comma 4 and 5 cool so the this is the uh, like solution uh, the brute force approach one more thing that we can do over here is like uh, if you want to do this using javascript so we can do that also for simply run a loop i equals 0 and i less than array dot length i plus equals size that is given to us and what we can do over here is const group that we were creating what's happening simply do uh, like array dot slice we are going to do array dot slice because we have like we have to keep the original array unchanged so over here what we can do is we can simply do i and i plus size because it will like include this and exclude this like uh, and yeah that's it and what else we can do is simply push result dot push group let's see if this works or not i think it has worked okay so this is the output for first second and third yes it's working so friends another question that we have is in react we need to implement a use effect once hook that runs an effect only once cool so let's give it a try so we need to make our effect run only once right so let's quickly create a folder hooks and inside this uh, simply create use effect once dot js something like this now now let's start coding export default function use effect once and um this effect is a callback over here right so the most easiest approach that can come to our mind is we are simply going to call this use effect pass our effect and pass this dependency array like uh, without any dependency and over here we can simply do is uh, use effect once and simply let's say pass a callback and let's do some console.log let's say my name and let's see if we get something uh, we are getting error <laughs> let's see what we get so as we can see friends we got akash okay so and we are getting akash two times because it is running in strict mode okay so okay and in strict mode uh it, it it's it is it is saying yeah that the implementation that we got is kind of little bit buggy we can say because uh, the so question is that we need to that our hook should only run once okay but what this approach is doing is it's kind of it will uh, run it twice while mounting and unmounting as well okay and and let's see if we remove strict mode from here so let's see now now it got printed only once right so let's keep the strict mode and let's try to find out the solution that works with strict mode as well so for that what i'm going to do is so sorry i will use ref Mm -hmm. okay initial value will be false now now inside this use effect let's uh, have our callback and let's see uh, what we can do is we can simply say if ref dot current then return now do ref dot current equals true and return effect that we have passed simply call it. it it depends upon you whether you want to return it or simply call it it totally depends okay now now first try to check if it is working or not cool so as we can see even with uh, strict mode on 
we are getting Akash print. So why we are using ref? Because when we change the value of ref, it does not trigger re-render and it value remains stable across different re-renders. So that's why. So this is the very simple solution for this question. And I hope you got the logic as well. So friends, the first question that we solved was uh, this, uh, like a simple, you can say, uh, it was a DSA based question or we can say the interviewer wants to check your logic, like how you write your code in JavaScript. Okay. The second one was based on React. So yeah, if you want to connect with me for any mock interview, so you can connect me via this particular link. And yeah, that's it for this particular video. If you like the content, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Take care. Bye.